Yeah, um, it's disappointing because I think we we felt that the wicket was still good enough to bat for the day. Um, certainly, uh, after last night, myself and Harry thought that if we got through that first sort of half an hour hour, we could set it up for the day. Um, obviously, it didn't help with me going off um, and then us losing a couple of wickets there just before lunch. But I think you have to give credit to the way Sri Lanka bowled. Um, their seamer bowled with real accuracy this morning and made it really, really hostile. Um, and naturally, their spinners came into the game again and just bowled with really good accuracy. But yeah, we're disappointed. I think we, we definitely thought we could have got a draw out of that game. Um, but I suppose it wasn't to be. What about yourself? Are you being on the now? Or? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, look, I, it, took, it hit the globe before it hit the helmet, which probably took a, a bit of the blow off. But um, Mark wanted to get me off. I obviously got hit at the start of the year. Um, so Mark just wanted to get me off and, and I make sure that I was OK and I was fine. Um, so yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, he played really well. He played the situation brilliantly. Um, I think, like I said, to kind of see off that barrage that he did this morning is a credit to him. Um, and he, you know, he'll take a lot from this this trip as a Test match cricketer. He's had a really good trip. A lot of our batters have done pretty well um, over here. It's been tough for the bowlers. There's no doubt about that. The wickets have been not too conducive to uh, particularly our seamers. Um, but like I've said before, this is all a learning curve for a lot of our group and. Uh, going forward, you know, our next test is in Lords, which is slightly different to what we've had the last three weeks. But um, we're three since we've come here. We're three test matches uh, more experienced than we were beforehand. Yeah, it is, and it's you know it's something we have to we have to try really hard to, to build a depth of, of fast bowlers um, with the schedule that we have now um, all around the world. It's pretty grueling for the fast bowlers, so we have to make sure that we have some. Some stock there. Uh, you have to mention Tom Mays. He didn't play a game this trip, but his work ethic and his training has been really impressive. Um, and from what I've seen, I think you know he, he could be in the system for a while. I think he's got some very good attributes, and uh, they're the kind of players we need to find and, and hopefully get into the system. Just summing up the last three and a half weeks, then three successive test matches. Uh, just what's the, what do you feel like at the end of it? Yeah, it's. I think it mentally more than anything, it's it's quite straining. We're not used to that. Uh, you know, God forbid if that first match went the five days and we, you know, three days to turn around and play another five days. It's, it's not what our body's used to, but um, I've, I've just really enjoyed it. And I think the whole group have. It's, in, it's, in, it's probably the best format of cricket still, in my opinion. The ebbs and the flows of it are so intriguing. And I know that our group have loved the, the challenge as well. Um, coming to places like Gaul and trying to compete with a team like Sri Lanka is really exciting. It's tough. It's very tough. But for a lot of the a lot of periods throughout the kind of tests we were in and amongst it, and um, we can take positives from that, I suppose. Um, Andy, uh, probably you went from, from the last day, you know, knowing that Sri Lanka is going to come back with spinners. Do you suppose it's the bowling of Sri Lanka coming in the bowling Yeah, we've kind of seen it over the last couple of matches that he's capable of doing that. Um, I think this morning was probably the, the best spell that he's bowled at us. Um, it was really tough, um, but I suppose at test match level, you expect the fast bowlers, no matter where you are in the world, to be really accurate. And he was very accurate this morning with his bouncers and um, made life tough. He bowled, I think, a seven over spell, which was really impressive. Um, but it was good, it was enthralling. Um, we made them think, which I think we wanted to do, rather than just bowling spinning us all day. They maybe felt like they had to try something else. Um, but yeah, no, he bowled brilliantly, and then when he came back at the end, he got the ball reversing. Um, very skillful bowling, yeah. Um, you said that you sort of more or less uh, proud that you the first test match you played four or five days. Yeah, I think we're very young and in our test career, so you have to take these small steps and small wins. It's the first time that we've played five full days. I know there's been a bit of rain around, but to get it into the middle session on the fifth day. And still believing that we could get a draw out of the game um, is is important. It's not, you know, we we knew that it would be very tough to win the game. To take 20 wickets out there would have been very difficult. Um, but we have to take small steps. Uh, a lot of the best teams in the world haven't won tests this early, so it's going to take time. Um, but as I've said before, we have to make sure that our players are exposed to the red ball as often as possible. Players the 
it's more just how the wickets just aren't conducive. We're brought up in, in Ireland and where the wickets usually favour seam bowling. Um, it's so different here when it's as hot as it is and the Kookaburra ball doesn't do a lot, particularly when it goes soft and you have high class batters who have amazing records in these, co in these conditions. Uh, we're, we've had a few injuries in, se in the seam department, not that that's an excuse, but like I said, we have to find a way to build a bit of depth. So if we do have a couple of injuries, we can replace them well enough. But look, the guys tried their absolute hardest out there. I can't fault them at all. Um, I know the scorecard was whatever, 700 for three, but whenever I gave someone the ball, they, they had no hesitation and they kept running in. And you know, Graham Hume got his first test wicket. That's a huge moment for him. It was you know, probably not how he wanted to get it, but it's in the book. And these are small steps to, to us being a, a better test team. And I hope if we come back here and whenever, whenever we come back here again, whoever's playing, we'll have, a, we'll be, we, we'll have got better over the years. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you always have a preconceived conception of Sri Lankan pitches turning a lot, and but it stayed pretty good. I, I, you know, I spent a bit of time batting today, and it, it was still a pretty good wicket. Um, pr probably turned a bit more, but just not every ball. Um, but no, it's, it was a good wicket. Um, really enjoyed batting on it. Um, fortunately, I didn't have to bowl on it, um, although I nearly did. But um, I, I look, we. We loved it. We loved the challenge. I think you know we're not too down in the change room about this result. Um, we came here. We wanted to bounce back from the disappointment of the first game, and I think we managed to do that. Um, if we're being hypercritical, we could have got more runs in the first innings because that was the best time to bat. But to get two centurions, um, their first centuries, that's, th these are big moments for these cricketers. And um, yeah, we're we're disappointed we didn't get a draw, but I think we played good cricket. And if, uh, I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I was more disappointed today because I felt like myself and Harry were building a decent partnership that could have got us to, to tea and we were scoring as well, which was, which was important to the deficit. But um, yeah, look, I, I've said before that this is my favorite form of the game and I want to keep playing as much as I can. Um, but look, I'm, I can sit there and t tell you I'm disappointed, but like I said, Curtis and Sterla got hundreds and, and that's as important because um, as much as you want to do well as an individual, this team is more important to me than my own performance. So I think the team are in a better place after the end of this week than they were at the start. Yeah, I think I think we learned a bit from the first test that, or the test match in Bangladesh. Um, you know, we knew that winning the toss in these conditions and batting first is, is very important. Um, we managed about a day and a half in this test, which is a, which is an improvement from that match in Dhaka. Um, even the first innings of our, of the mat, of the first match here, we didn't acquit ourselves too well. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we as long as we're making improvements test by test, um, I think we'll be better for it. And like I said, we're going to go to Lords to play England, which is completely different to what we had here, but another exciting challenge. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers.